This is a list of on local king rubbers then. If you already own a box of a local king magic markers, I am sure you're going to love our new coming tools. Those are our local king rubber stem um, special custom made blending sponges. They are going to be 10 sponges a set. Each individual sponges is come with storage containers. So they are going to be something like that. You will get the 10 sponges a set and the 10 storage containers. And when you want to use it, you just open your container, put something like that. Okay, so uh, we're in the final stage of making this a foundation basis. They are going to be made with acrylic block. We are offer first 100 customers. They will get the free shipping. They will get the two free acrylic bases. So those bases are just helping to hold your um, blending um, sponges. When you want to use it, it's easy to pick it, pick up. To pick it up and then use it. So our pre-order um, detail will post in October 1st. I have already received a lot of email from you guys to ask me to hold a set for you. We can totally do that. If you're interested to purchase one, each individual sponges is only $3.99. So the whole set is going to be $39.99. We are offered a special promotion um, the first 100 customer will get we will get um, 10 sponges 10 um, individual storages free shipping plus two acrylic holding bases that's for the price of $39.99 so I have uh, already received a lot of email from you guys to ask me to hold one set for you we can totally do that if you are interested, please send me an email with your name and the shipping address and I will make sure you will be our first 100 customers. After our promotion, after the 100 um, set, um, we, are, we can't offer you free shipping anymore. The shipping, is, uh, shipping fee is going to be $15 and those two acrylic bases is going to cost you $12.99. So make sure you take uh, advantage of at least the first 100 customer deal. And uh, so that's started to show you how to use those uh, magic sponges. Have you checked uh, our 2019 uh, full new design? If you haven't, um, make sure you go to our website, um, check it out. And uh, also make sure you watch tutorial number 85 we had our first preview to show you how to use those um, magic sponges. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome background. This is the other sample that I did with our sponges. And uh, we are going to use uh, our, one of uh, our new combo set. It's called Hello Birdie. Those two, we are doing a special pre-order. You, um, the regular price for this combo set is $24.99. You will get a big stamp plus two die cut um, for $24.99. But we are doing the pre-order. The pre-order, you will get 10% off plus free shipping. Um, just make sure you check it out. Okay, so that started. This uh, Hello Birdie combo set, the stamp is uh, pretty big. It's almost, uh, see what's the size of my pound. So that's a pretty big stamp. Okay, so here is the, the material list I'm gonna do and we are going to need some die base impact. We're gonna use a Versa Mark and the clear embossing powder. Um, the embossing bodies, if you don't have it, you can use a Swiffer. And uh, we are going to need some um, watercolor cardstock for blending. Um, when you use the blending sponges, try do not use a um, glossy paper, okay? Try to use it. It will work, but uh, it, um, try to use a regular cardstock, um, the cardstock that have a little bit texture, so, and a little bit thick, because the, the, um, if uh, you use a very thin cardstock when you're blending it, and then when they absorb the ink, they probably, you know, they won't hold it. So I use at least a good quality water cardstock, and uh, that's just started. Okay, so the first car, I kind of use uh, some kind of warm color, like uh, the like orange, red, and, uh, but we can, 
try different color like this is a multi-color kind of green blue and purple and this one I mix all the color warm color green color and purple color so you do whatever you like and we're going to use uh, our sponges to color the foundation coat but the foundation coat we don't want to go too dark we have to go a little bit lighter my friend Lisa from Savannah, she called those sponges magic mushroom. I actually kind of like it, so we're going to call them magic mushroom. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, we are going to use this zucchini um, dye base uh, color. It's a colitis color. The first one is called the Desert Heat, and this is a Blue Breeze. You can use Marvi um, Memento. Um, tin hose distract ink, but when you use the tin hose distract ink, be a little bit careful because the uh, color is a uh, kind of heavy. Um, always try to test it on your scrap paper, make sure it's not too much color. So I am going to try something different. I'm going to actually try some rainbow color. So I'm going to try from the light to the dark and then from the orange to the red. So light blue to the dark blue and the orange to red red color. We are going to meet in the middle. I love, I love those uh, colors um, sponge, the magic mushroom, because they have uh, 10 different colors. Um, you can see from here, probably um, like this yellow is a little bit bigger than the pink color because I was cleaning with, uh, I show you how to clean it. Okay, so they kind of absorb a little bit water, that's why they really like a mushroom, they kind of grow up a little bit. But don't worry, after they dry out, they will shrink back to the the original size. Okay, so let's start with the light blue first. So this uh, this magic mushroom, you can see the original color is light blue, but I already used it, so it's kind of darker blue here. But when you apply on the your scrap paper, that doesn't really show you the dark blue color because you can clean after you use it. But try to stay one color. Um, one mushroom and the one color and that way you don't use the um, pink color to the blue or green color to the red so try to keep your mushroom the color the origin color one mushroom one color so you always try to start with a lighter color first and go dark so when you use uh, your sponges to pick up the light color always light to dark they don't contaminate your color and the brushing is the best way to pick up the color. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, rotate uh, my um, my mushroom and then kind of just uh, rub it like that. Okay, so we start with that or you can kind of just doing the circling. Okay, we start with the light color first and then we're going to brush the second color and then we come to go a little bit darker so drawing a little circle okay put a little bit pressure on top when you push a little bit harder you get darker color and then we're going to pick up a little bit more always start from light to the dark and then we're going to pick up the third color you can see from the light to the dark or you can kind of like just blending like to the dark okay and then I'm going to show you how to clean later we are going to use the uh, orange color okay we are going to this one is a little bit dirty I didn't clean last time after I used it so I am going to use uh, this orange one okay so I'm going to pick up the orange color brush it and then start to do a little bit drawing. Okay. Light color first. Okay. It doesn't have to be very smooth for the first coat. Okay. And we're going to choose the second color. Okay, and we're going to do the third color. Third color. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up the darkest red 
and I kind of just blending between. Okay, we got darker red. Try to hide that the dark blue line and the dark the dark blue line, kind of blending it. Okay, just drawing a little circle in the when the red mix with blue, it supposed to become purple. Now I'm going to use the, my blue mushroom and then kind of blending with darker blue and I'm going to use my red kind of blending try to hide that, try to make it in like a blending together okay, it can be blending okay, and if you find it still here, like here to here, jump too fast go back, add more I think actually this has become a pretty cool sunset color okay so that's my foundation color it doesn't have to be very like a fully coverage so show a little bit stroke here it's okay but if that really bothers you you can use it your double go back to um, clean give it more color make it more fuller and then now, before we move on to the next step, I'm going to show you how to clean it. Okay, so I have this shaman here to, um, I'm going to use this one to clean my stamp. If you don't have it, you can just use a cloth that it will work just fine. I do not recommend you to wash your magic uh, sponges. Um, all you have to do is just use a cloth or shaman and you kind of just squeeze all the dirty color. Okay, kind of just squeeze. Sometimes if your cloth is a little bit too wet, your sponge maybe grow a little bit. So that's okay. After overnight, they will come back to original shape. So you kind of just kind of squeeze. Don't rub like that. Just squeeze, squeeze and uh, rotate it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze like this. And you should, you should be able to clean pretty good. Even the on the sponges it still show color, but when you apply it, it won't um, show this dark color. So just try to keep one sponge one color. Again, in the test, see it pretty much all gone. Okay, and uh, we do the blue. So that's how you clean your magic mushroom. Okay, and then we are going to use our Chinese symbol background. Okay, something's very important. Before we use uh, our reverse mark and embossing powder, you got to make sure this is completely dry before we do the reverse mark and embossing powder. Um, you can leave it for one or two hours, or you can use your heat gun to make sure this is completely dry. If they are not completely dry when you put the embossing powder on top, you will find out they all mess out. They will pick up the extra powder because the paper is a little bit moisture. So make sure that this is completely dry or heat dry before you do it. Okay, to be able to get a clear um, image with embossing powder. If you have embossing body, you kind of just rub your um, surface with embossing bodies. If you don't have embossing bodies, all you have to do is just use a sweeper, just to kind of rub your your the surface of paper. That will help um, they get a very clear image with embossing powder. So this is what I do is uh, this is my verse on uh, the verse mark. First mark, you are going to give a nice ink. Okay, if you have been following my tutorial, you will find out I don't use a big acrylic block for my background stamp. Um, this is the way how I ink my background stamp. I just ink my background stamp and I put my card on top of the image here. And then I'm going to do the embossing.
Okay, so I just stamp a, or a Chinese symbol background with a versa mark and a coat with a clear embossing powder. So now you probably can't really see. You can see something just like a watermark. What's the purpose of a put a clear embossing powder? The purpose of put clear embossing powder is that clear embossing powder is going to seal the base color. And now I am going to bring my impact out again. So I'm going to switch. I am going to put a dark blue, blue this action, this area. I'm going to put a dark red in this area. So we're going to use my blue and uh, I, um, I just, I shouldn't clean my brushes. I should, um, sorry, I shouldn't clean my magic mushroom. I should just clean it after I finish it all. So after I clean my magic mushroom, it's still a little bit moisture. You can feel this kind of moisture there. So just in case, I'm going to use a clinic, just uh, kind of absorb the extra ink. Okay, so we are going to use the, the third blue and then kind of just rub on top. Now, when, as soon as when I rub the dark blue on top, you can see all those Chinese lucky coins start pop out, right? So let's do this. See? Is that awesome? So the dark color kind of just seal your paper here. So that's what it look like. Kind of unique. And now I am going to use my red color. Kind of drawing a little circle on top. You can change different red. That's something like that. And the one more last step is um, I am going to use my shaming or you can just use a paper towel with a little water on top. I'm kind of just clean the surface, kind of rub off that color on the clear embossing, the place we do that Chinese coin. See, it's a lot of color. And then those coins, they will pop out more. So that's how I created this beautiful um, pattern paper. If you have been following my tutorial, you probably realize that I don't really use pattern paper. Some of my pattern paper I probably have over 20 years ago. And then when I do the tutorial, you guys want to use exactly the same stuff I have. And I have no idea where did I get those pattern paper. So most of the time I create on my own and see three different um, foundation color, three different kind of looking. And all you have to do is just uh, folding it and uh, make kind of like a folder card and the uh, least uh, or a new Asian corner die. Um, check our website, we have a great uh, promotion. You can get it for free when you order stamp A set and B set. That's our 2019 for new design pre-order promotion. Check it out. So thank you for watching um, our tutorial. I hope you like it and uh, we have a more tutorial coming soon. Um, stay tuned and if you like to order a set of uh, our magic mushrooms, um, send me an email with your name and the, your shipping address and uh, we'll put it on our pre-order list before we post our pre-order on our website. Thank you for watching. See you next time.